Hello everybody and welcome to Belle's channel and today we'll be doing part 2 of the Days Gone Everything We Know So Far video. Um, so just before we start though I do want to make a quick edit on my last video, um, Days Gone Everything We Know So Far part 1, um, because I said something about Deacon and a personal tragedy of his wife-to-be. Well from recent literally like three hours ago um bethesda and sorry not bethesda um ben studios and playstation released a video of the of like deacon and his wife sarah getting married and deacon surviving and whatnot and boozer was there so that confirms that they did know each other before um the apocalypse so yeah that's just said now as well as there will be minor spoilers ahead so do be warned um so let's get in so in part one we discussed that during a trail travels of oregon but well post-apocalyptic oregon um you'll have to not only face freakers but murderous fractions as well as battle the environment and the wildlife so in part two, we'll be discussing really some other features such as like um, crafting and um, trading as well as scavenging and a little bit of speculation theory that I have um, as well as, you know, some strategy that Bethesda, oh, sorry, I can't say Bethesda, that Ben Studio is trying to push on us as well as the actual when the game's being released and the prices and the content that you get with pre-ordering and um as well as like if you like the certain like deluxe packages and things that you will get with it um so really let's start off with while you're traveling these um p the post apocalyptic oregon what you'll need so far i've managed to find that you're going to need really two things now the first one is transport now days gone's biggest feature of its game is deacon's motorcycle uh, which is a drifter bike that he has custom made uh, before obviously the pandemic um and the fun fact about days gone is that they're letting you customize it and they're letting you upgrade it to like have more speed um less fuel consumption i'm guessing uh more carry weight things like that and um, storage um but the problem is from the recent videos of the storyline now spoilers ahead um your bike is apparently scrapped after the first mission uh, by a manny mechanic at copeland's camp um, to make up for this, because he knows how dangerous you are, he gives you a makeshift bike. And, and this is the one you will be, uh, crafting and editing. While I believe the storyline is that you rebuild your old one. Um, or maybe they're trying to be a bit with it like, um, new deacon, he's got a new bike, instead of the representation of his old bike with his wife, it's his new bike that he's rebuilding and that's how his emotional state becomes better. Maybe that's what they're trying to push on, but that's, again, just speculation. Um, okay, and now the second thing you're going to need is gear. Um, and to get this, um, well, one of the ways you can get it is by collecting ear credits. This is the left ear from a Freakers, the only the left ear, um, and that's the new currency of Days Gone, and you can use these ear credits to buy weapons from a weapons locker. As you can see, um, purchase weapons at encampments are fully accessible from the weapons locker. Access your weapons locker to reclaim any purchased weapon you've lost. Um, weapons found in the field are usable but will not be stored in your weapon locker. So you can use these ear credits to buy um, weapons at encampments at the merchant. So as you can see, the the um, the weapons on the back corner there. So, and then they'll be stored at your weapons locker and you can reclaim them if you've, like, lost them in the field and things like that. Um, but 
you can also scavenge buildings and cars for not just weapons, but for medical supplies, ammo, scrap, um, craftable items, uh, things like that that you'll need to survive or even trade. Um, but it is more important for you to actually craft things such as ammo, remote bombs, proximity bombs, fire bombs. So scavenging for supplies will be life saving. Now, now that we've gotten away from the actually surviving with things, um, the re the game does actually really focus on the environment and realistic survival. Um, by not only involving crafting and scavenging, but also using your environment to kill and distract freakers and marauders. Um, although your enemies can be just as crafty as you, uh, by using bear traps and uh, a thing called meat walls, which is strung up freakers uh, used to, you know, alert or ward off trespassers. But they also serve as a first line defence against freakers, as um. Freakers do eat their own kind, uh, so they'll eat them. That'll be like the, the detection system, and then that'll let the marauders know there are freakers coming in. Um, I don't think you'll be able to do that, to be honest. I don't, but I think you'll have to be careful because I imagine a few of the freakers will be alive. Also, thinking of survival, while this is just speculation, I do really hope Ben's studio add even more realism with the fact that Deacon will need water, food, and sleep. I do have a suspicion that this may be a f possibility uh, due to the fact Freakers need water um, and it appears that Deacon appears to sleep um, this is his safe house with Boozer and these have beds and we've seen him actually lie down in these beds so I was wondering whether he's just waiting like till night or day or that he actually is sleeping at these things as well as that survivor camps have kitchens and there is wildlife that isn't infected by the freak of virus so i'm guessing you'll be able to hunt them either for meat to trade or to actually eat um if they don't have this i get it you know the game's got a lot of other factors you know use your environment like fire barrels and um like, like uh, you can use like a saw blade at sawmill and things like that so i suppose there's a lot of factors to consider but, you know, if they're going for full survival, you know, we need this. You know, this makes it full survival. Um, also, another main point I found is that Ben Studio is really trying to push the idea that going in gun blazing, I'll be, would be skillful, but isn't the best approach. Neither is going in with motorcycle rearing. You'll just attract every goddamn freaker <laughs> from a hundred miles, I'm guessing. <laughs> um, but yeah, but it's not the best idea, but rather crafting and strategy is the best option to killing the vast amounts of freakers you'll come across, as well as surviving. Um, so really, you know, it emphasizes on using your environment, such as fire barrels or logs or objects you'll find yourself fighting for your life around. So I do think that is something important to remember in this game. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Um, I almost got to mention that another game feature this game offers is choices. Uh, as Deacon, you can make choices in the game which affects how the storyline evolves and impacts your relationship with the other characters around you, such as Boozer and the Camp's Trust and any more characters that we aren't aware of yet. Um, I'm not sure how it impacts the game exactly, or how it impacts the quests, or whether you get quests or not, but I'm sure we will find out. Um, I think it's kind of like, not like The Last of Us, but like the choices you made did affect the game, which I think is really cool because that gives a bit of diversity to your actual game, and you make it, you almost feel like you've been a part of the game, of how it played out. Um, in all, I believe the overall game and its game features are predicted to be spectacular and so unique compared to other games. I know people are saying Last of Us slash Sons of Anarchy, but I mean, if people like that. I mean, there's never been a game like this, to be honest with you. There's never been an open world zombie game. Like a fully open world zombie game. 
Um, and I think it's going to be a very u- new and unique game experience. Now, let's get to the technical bit. Days Gone is set to release on the 26th of April, 2019. In fact, many people have been waiting ages for this game, um, as the initial release date was February 2018. But then they pushed it to t- February 2019. I was very annoyed by that. And now they've even pushed it to April 2019. So there's a lot of sources out there that are like saying February last year and then February this year and then April. But it is most definitely April 2019. If it is not and they've moved it again, I will be hounding them studio. <laughs> um, but hopefully it should be worth it as they... As all the factors involved, they really do need to fine tune the game. Otherwise, people are just going to make the assumption that it's crap. They've they've made too big a jump, but it's like, well, they need time, and you're not giving it them. But yeah, so this is, I again, I do think this is going to be a great game. Okay, so pl- it is an exclusive PlayStation Four game. You cannot get it on any other console. PlayStation Four only, and it has two editions. There is a third, and that's the collector's edition, but that's like 200 quid, so I'm not going to go into that. Anyway, so the standard is 54.99, and the deluxe is 64.99, and comes with a PlayStation theme, soundtrack, three in-game biker skins, and a repair kit for your bike. That deluxe one is the one that I will be going for, um, purely because you need to get the extra stuff. I like a PlayStation theme, and I do like how you can get some extra things. As I said, you get a lot for an extra tenner. Um, and also, by pre-ordering, you will receive a bike upgrade package for speed, defense, and travel boosts, as well as an early access to the Drifter Crossbow weapon, which I think would be a great help with uh, this game, obviously, how dangerous and hard it's going to be. Especially since like the difficulty level is set, like you cannot edit that. Um, but I do think this is pretty good uh, if you've made up your mind to get Days Gone. Um, but if you are still unsure, then please do check out my other Days Gone videos that we'll, we'll be releasing in the coming weeks, uh, such as the Days Gone Fractions, which tell you a bit more about the fractions, um, as well as other videos I may be uploading to learn more and decide whether. You either can't wait for it to come out, or if you're not too bothered. Um, but whatever your decision, I would really love to hear your opinions. Um, to kind of get an idea of what's going on with Days Gone. Uh, if there's any videos you would like me to do, um, I can research into it and have a look and get it up here. Because I know there is so much information out there, all set on different dates, all from different information. And Ben Studio and PlayStation are releasing and releasing new information because they know we've been waiting so hopefully this did help you these this video um in making a decision or learning a bit more about it but yeah i do want to hear your opinions so please leave a comment down in the comment section if you want um you know to share it um but also if you did like this video um then please like it and if you want to see more then uh, please subscribe to my channel uh yeah this was bell um with everything we know so far about days gone um yeah thanks for watching goodbye